The Michigan Department of Corrections admitting to an embarrassing mistake. And it's one that has cost a 60-year-old woman her freedom for the past five weeks. You will remember Judy Heyman. She was arrested in San Diego in February as a fugitive on the run from the law since the 70s. She'd escaped from an Ypsilanti prison and was taken into custody in California recently. But tonight, she's free again. Prosecutors say it was all a mix-up. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich shows us how this all happened. Judy Heyman smiles because she finally gets to go home. Thank you. She is really happy. She is very, very happy, and her words were, thank God and thank Lisa. <laughs> Grateful, she hugs her attorney, Lisa Damiani. I think probably she's a little upset, I would imagine. Um, today she's not upset. Today she's very, very happy. A California judge ordered the 60-year-old's immediate release today, ruling that her capture five weeks ago was a mistake. They are claiming that they didn't have any records in either case um, after 1977 at the time that they issued the warrant. When police arrested her in San Diego, the mother of three was going by the name of Jamie Lewis. For the past 37 years, she was wanted by the Michigan Department of Corrections for escaping a prison in Ypsilanti. Back then, Heyman was 23 and serving time for shoplifting from a Detroit department store. She was halfway through an 18-month to two-year sentence when she escaped. While fighting extradition, Heyman claimed she returned to Michigan in 1982, pled guilty in two cases, and was let go for time served. The reason for the mix-up? Still unclear. Prosecutors in Michigan tracked down the files this week. One file lost, but the other file confirmed Heyman's story. She was no longer a wanted woman. The Michigan Department of Corrections had made a mistake. That was Julie Bonovich reporting there. Our sister station in San Diego tells us that Heyman was also arrested in Nevada in the mid-90s because of the very same mistake. Stephen?